Hello, all of my Hans. It's Sinew here, back with some more Undertale. Now, we left off uh, part ways through this town. We have a few more people, looks like, to talk to. Let's just go ahead and get right back into it. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Hehe. <laughs> Dear God, where's that thing over there on the right? Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Uh, okay, cool. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. If you think that we're anything alike, bro, you look like you're all hopped up on caffeine. Like you've been up for three days straight. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there is ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Grillbees. Whoa. Scarf mouse? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems. But we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. So why be morose about it? Sorry, he just looks like death itself. Like, an evil soul from the underworld. So I figured he should have, I don't know, like, a voice that sounds like a Dementor sucking someone's soul out. I don't know. It's a depressing little plant. Check out Grillbees. Jesus, what on earth? Like, immediately you just, you can't do anything but stop and look at some of the things in here. There's a passed out rabbit that I think drank too much. There's something, I think that's a plant, and it's just giant teeth. There's a cool, I don't even know what that guy is, maybe a horse up in the top right. The bartender's head is just fire. All right, let's go and see. I guess we'll start by talking to everyone but the bartender. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and it's hot, 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 guys. Yeah. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. I don't even remember what I did for these guys' voices. I don't think I even properly set voices for them. I think they're females, actually. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish these skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I don't know. I, they're just never gonna have a real voice. We're just gonna leave it at that. Oh god, what was this guy's voice? I'm thinking of getting a spike colored show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a lease to me and make take me for a walk, please. Uh... Really weird. Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Um, alright, dude, you're kind of a fish, so I feel like that's probably not weird, but... Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Quill said he'd offer a few glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, that wasn't actually him talking, okay. 
capital is getting pretty crowded. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. What? What? Slip onto their... What? I, I'm just... I don't even... Weirdo. I don't even know what he said. I may have said that wrong. I don't even know. We're gonna act like that didn't even happen. What on earth? Weirdest person in the world. This game's a little bit, uh, on the edge. The jukebox is broken. Okay. Is that it? Is that everything? Are we good? Grill bees. Alright, let's head out. Lab Arby. The Lab Arby. I'm thinking Lab Arby's. Dad, look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <laughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Yeah, but soon you won't be able to talk anymore. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Jeez. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Monster History Part 4. Maybe I shouldn't be reading it backwards. Let's go ahead and uh, go start with number one. Alright, here we go. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kinda sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. I'm torn into pieces. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. I don't even think that was a song. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4! Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp swabland and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Alright, that was the library. Jesus, someone hasn't been checking their mail. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. God. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? I mean... It's not like he's here, so yeah, let's look in. It's empty. Well, it's, that's for the tunnels, right? Tunnels probably have monsters or something in them, but I'll check those after I finish like going door to door. Hello, I'm selling cookies. It's locked. Is that Papyrus' house? It's locked from the inside. I have no idea. Uh oh. Uh, I feel like we should probably go back. No, let's go find out what it is. We're gonna freeze and die, but... Oh god. Oh god. 
Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh my god, Papyrus, no! <laughs> Papyrus blocks the way. Alright. We only have one choice. I think it's a good thing that I got that uh, 30 of 20 then. Papyrus. Uh, insult? How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospi hospitality from you. Jesus. I get the feeling he doesn't want to hurt me, considering his options. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection. Your emotional cactus. Ah! Ah! The Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. I mean, so far they haven't really been all that difficult to deal with. Don't! Don't waste your words on me! Rattling his bones. Am I doing the wrong thing? I don't know. You insult, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. What? Don't waste your words on me. Oh, do I have to get hurt? Is that it? Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Maybe not. God dang it. It says acting won't do it, so what do I do? So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. I was right. Oh. You jerk! You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> This guy gets worse and worse. You're blue now. Oh my god. He gets worse and worse. Uh, does that mean that there will be a difference in things that- I don't even know, bro. I feel like I should keep mercying, but I don't know. Let's try insulting. Pyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. Don't waste your words on me. Wait, so does this mean that I can, uh, fight now, or...? I don't want to risk it. Trying hard to play it cool. Let's try sparing again. How high can you jump? I got this. Smells like bones. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. You. Yeah. Pyrus is considering his options. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ow, oh, you jerk! Papyrus whispers, <laughs> Papyrus, head of the royal guard! Floppy bird! Oh my god. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti! Ow. Oh, dang it. Papyrus is cackling. 
Hunden will be really proud of me. I really hope I'm not, like, missing what I'm supposed to do, and this is all a waste, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You can't always tell if you're making progress or not in this game. Preparing a bone attack. The king will trim that hedge in the shape of my smile. The fact that I keep on getting new things that he's saying, I feel is a good sign, though. Oh my god. Pyrus is considering his options. I should probably have one of those things, the bicycle. Um, uh, yeah, let's have a bicycle. You won't have the bicycle, you recover what needs to be. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Ow. The Pyrus is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Yeah, getting the hang of it. Smells like bones. How will I know if people sincerely like me? Yeah, fight me. Paris prepares a non bone attack, then spends a minute fixing his mistake. Someone like you is really rare. Whoa. Okay, this is getting crazy. I don't think they'll let you go. Oops. Oh my god. There we go. The power sorcerers. <laughs> After you are captured and sent away. Oh. Huh? Ow. Paris is preparing a bone attack. Another bicycle. Uh, unicycle. Oh, god. Awesome. You eat the unicycle. You recovered 11 HP. Uh, who cares? I give up! Ow. Ow. Paris is rattling his bones. Dang it, he lied. Oh, wait. Oh, I give up or face my special attack! Is he repeating things? I hope not. I'm trying hard to play it cool. Yeah! Very soon I will use my special attack. No, actually, maybe I am supposed to wait for a special attack. Ow. Paris is cackling. Come on, bro. Not too long and I will use that special attack. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be waiting this out or not. This is your last chance before my special attack. Alright, please tell me that's a good sign. Pyrus is cackling. Why did I do that? I, oh well, I don't care. Behold! My special attack! What the heck? That That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Did you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! What are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Uh. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Hey dog, how's it going bro? Oh, whoa. Cool. Dude. Ow. Hey, skateboarding phone. Oh. Ow. Okay, this could end badly. Please, I've come so far, and I've tried so hard, and in the end it honestly might not matter. Dude, that phone is scary. Something's gonna happen. Well. It's clear. You can't. 
Defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Before I, the great papyrus, electric grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Can't even stop someone as weak as you. Indeed's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. What a loser. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow! I have friends. And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you can just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right for the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> Jesus. Alright then. Wow. I feel like we should head back to town, because there were places we didn't go and stuff, so... We should save... In this episode, and then we'll be doing so that... Did I just hear something? I don't know. And then we'll be doing that stuff. Alright. Where's the save point? Creepy demon dude. God, this is such a long town. Here we go! Okay. We're going to save. And we'll be back very soon, hopefully, to continue with Undertale. Have a wonderful day, all of my yawns out there. And don't forget to feed your pets. <laughs>